just an all day has been a nice addition for the Mavs, but the Mavs do lack a true backup point guard behind Kyrie and Luka Doncic. So why not bring another Slovenian, Slovenian who's been recently cut? Love my Yugoslavian brothers. You know, my grandfather was born in Skopli, Macedonia in like 1916 and then moved to Belgrade, Serbia, where he's raised. Either way, it's not about me. Goran Dragic, in 15 and a half minutes, he appeared in 51 games for the Bulls, averaged six and a half points, a little under 43% from the field, 35% from three. So you can still shoot it. And I think what we can see is that he, I mean, he still passes three assists. The defense really is not something that he's going to be here for, but he can be a guy who can come in and play 15 minutes a night. And what we're seeing right here is that the heat of where he came out and said they're not interested, but Goran Dragic has today only like this, is the last day he can be signed March 1st to a team and his numbers are impressive, but he's a savvy veteran who could definitely be a good player for a team like the Dallas Mavericks where he has a chemistry with Luka Doncic. And again, I, we didn't, the Heat have already came out and said there is not a possibility at, for our man Goron to return to Dallas. So that basically rules that out of him returning to, I mean, which going to the Miami Heat. They already ruled out him going to Miami Heat. I think I just said him, ruled out him going to the Dallas Mavericks. My apology. It was reported already that the Miami Heat have basically bowed out and said they're not interested in getting him. While I think the Mavericks, they could, they have to decide if they can, if they can bring in Nerlens Noel and Goran Dragic, Dragic, that would be amazing. Goran Dragic and Nerlens Noel would be great because Goran Dragic, 15 minutes a night, he can create his own shots. He can create for others and make plays for a team, especially for a team like Dallas. I think he could really, really be a good addition. And with the Dallas Mavericks, you know, they've got a good starting pair and behind the Kyrie Luca duo, it's Frank Nilakina then McKinley Wright the fourth and Jaden Hardy are the other two guards so it may be a bit of a challenge to bring in you might have to cut somebody and I don't know who you would cut but bringing in guy, a guy like Warren Drogic and Nerlens Noel would be amazing we talked about it and we know the Dallas Mavericks are interested who would you wave to bring those two players in I know I, I can't fathom that they would wave Theo Penson but Goron, he's a great player. He's somebody that I think a lot of people have just been waiting for him to be in a Dallas Mavericks uniform. So for me, he's been shooting well from 3, 35%. That's above league average. I think he's still capable of playing a few spots, minutes here and there, when a scoring punch and, you know, as a fourth ball handler. And that's not crazy, okay? I think that's reasonable to believe. That's where I want to hear your guys' thoughts. If you were the Dallas Mavericks, what would you guys do and why? I think it's definitely interesting to see how this all plays out because this team definitely will benefit from bringing in a guy like Goron. And by... Yeah, I just... I, I, I think it's interesting because... Also, the other thing is it's crazy that John Wall hasn't been signed, and Dragic already has more interest than John Wall. But Nico Harrison could be interested, and in Tim Baumtens roasts the idea of Dallas signing, you know, Dennis Schroeder this offseason, and I, you know, says that Jason Kidd doesn't think Dragic has any juice left in the tank. So the Mavs have, you know, like, maybe they don't do anything. But I remember that was something that they said in September. So, I mean, this could all change rather quickly, you know, one minute to the next. That it will definitely be interesting to see how this all plays out. Oh, I do want to hear your guys' thoughts. What do you What do you guys think? Do you think Dragic could be? I mean, he has, he was waived February 28th, so, I mean, you could sign with someone March 1st, so, I'm wondering, I'm wondering, because then you would have a defensive guy in, in Frank, and then you would have the offensive guy in Goran Dragic, you could, you could, you could play, you know, you could have multiple flavors, 
and I mean that could be something that they're interested in so let me hear your guys' thoughts down below in the comment section what would you guys do and why but that's basically gonna be it for me guys I hope you guys did enjoy the video I know it froze so that'll be hopefully addressed but besides that I'm gonna uh, head out I don't really think I, I have anything else to say so that's gonna be the video guys I hope you guys did enjoy like comment subscribe bye